Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are actually going to explore the brand new HP tools that Ryobi just announced. All right, so this is uh, these tools. I've uh, that's why I explored these tools. These tools look really, really awesome, and I'm really excited about showing you guys these. All right, so these are the new brushless tools for the HP uh, compact system. I guess the HP compact system, but we will see as they go. And so, yeah, so let's actually explore these brand new tools. Like I said, this uh, Impact is coming out, the P262, and I'm excited about that. So this, the P262, like I said, is 600 foot-pounds breakaway torque, and I believe it is 450 uh, foot-pounds of fastening torque. Three speeds, uh, of course, auto, it has an auto as well. And it does look like they are bringing a brand new HP battery, which that battery, in my opinion, looks really, really good. I like that look. I like the new look. But let's go to tool number one, and we'll come back to that impact. All right, tool combo kit. All right, so this is the new drill driver and impact driver, which I like the way they look. I do not know if these ones are compact, but considering on the size of the battery compared to the tool itself, I'm going to assume that these are actually compact. So this is model number, which is actually a little crazy. For the combo kit, it is, B, it is PBLCK01K, 18 volt HP brushless two tool combo kit. And obviously it comes with the drill and impact driver. And so the drill driver itself is PBLDD01, and it is a half inch, uh, I, I'm assuming that is a plastic chuck, considering on the past HP tools. Uh, half inch drill, quarter inch uh, impact driver, two amp hour, two two amp hour batteries, charger and a tool bag, onboard LED light. Let's see if we can see what these specs are. That's actually crazy powerful for an impact driver. So, but we are going to see how these are once I get these tools. And I love these tools, so we are gonna get this as fast as possible. All right, two, T, uh, two speeds. Uh, first speed is zero to 500 RPM. Zero, second speed is zero to 2100 RPM, which that's good. 24 position clutch, LED light on, uh, on the base, and that is the drill driver, which in my opinion looks very, very cool. Now for the impact driver, uh, quarter inch hex uh, die cast gear, gearbox, quarter inch hex collet. I guess that is a push in collet to where you don't need to adjust it. And this goes 25% faster uh, driving, zero to 4,000, what? Zero to 4,000 impacts per minute and zero to 2,200 inch pounds of torque that's actually crazy that's actually a crazy number i'm assuming it's uh it is variable trigger only since i yeah it, it's variable trigger only and of course that comes with the second two amp hour battery which it's good that they did make another battery that is very good all right for the multi-tool which i'm excited about this because i recently got into multi-tools and i'd say it's about time that and I say it's about time that Ryobi got into a brushless multi-tool. All right, so this does wood, plastic, drywall, metal, and, uh, and sanding. All right, it is model number PBLMT50B. Compact tool, head fits in the tight spaces and delivers 2,000 orbits per minute. Variable trigger with a with variable trigger speed dial and slide on bar bar power switch. All right, so I guess there is a speed adjustment on this with an on and off switch. It is not a paddle, which is all right in my opinion. LED light on the base. Nope, LED light. Where is the LED light? Yeah, that's where the variable speed dial is. LED light is not on the base. I guess the light is on the head of the tool about right here. Yeah, I think that's the head right there. I think that's the, the light. 
So this is the multi-tool, which I think it looks good. I think it's good that they did a little angle on it, so the less likely the battery will hit the hit the floor. Like I said, Ryobi makes the best uh, handles, in my opinion, ever. I love Ryobi's handle. All right, we already been through we already been through this through the combo kit. But like I said, this is Model Number PLB DD01K, 2100 RPM, max speed, and uh, 20, I think it was 21 inch pounds of torque. Let's look at that one more time. I want to see. Seven hundred and fifty inch pounds of torque, my bad. So yeah, but that's still crazy for a drill. All right, they have a, a new auger. I think this kit comes with an HP four and a half hour battery. I'm excited to test these batteries out. I really want to test it out. And so I'm not sure if it gives anything on the prices. If not, I'll put the prices in for each of these as I go along. Uh, Anti-kickback technology that activates when you hit rocks or roots. That's good. This will be good. I, I, I'm curious if this will dig big enough holes to drive in posts for a fence. We're going to have to put that to a test because I do want this because I am installing a fence soon. I think by next year, so I want to put this to the test. Uh, ideal for light cultivating, prep, uh, preparing soil. Yep, digging for fences, there you go, and landscaping. So that's good that you could dig holes big enough for and deep enough for a fence. Quick connection, six inch auger. So that's awesome. I like that. I like that because that looks a little bit more sturdy than their uh, previous model. All right, one thing I am excited about is the hammer drill. Now this handle looks like it's a good handle. I love that. I do not know if the handle is metal. We will find that out when we get it. But it does look this does look like it has a metal chuck. Half inch metal chuck. And really quick, let's go back to this. Half inch, yeah. A uh, half inch ratcheting metal chuck. So I guess the both the hammer drill and drill driver have the metal chuck. Uh, two speed settings. So like 3100 beats per minute, which is fantastic. <coughs> Two speed settings, 0 to 500 RPM on speed 1, 0, zero to 2100 RPM on speed 2, 750 inch-pounds of torque, so I guess that has the same as the regular drill driver. And so, yeah, it's good. So that looks like it has a 22-point clutch plus 2, which is drill and hammer. Everything else besides that is probably drill. And so, yeah. Uh, LED light on the base, which I like this design. This is a... Yeah, that, that's a metal chuck. Uh, sorry, that's a metal handle. Yeah, I like that handle. Um, Ryobi majorly upgraded their handle, which is a good thing. And now it looks like all the other handles that other companies have. So I like that. It looks good. It really, really looks good. With a four and a half hour battery, I can't wait to test that battery out. Yep, so 750 inch-pounds of torque, 29% faster drilling and hammer drill. We're, we are going to find that out. We are going to do a versus video between this and the previous brushless hammer drill that Ryobi has. All right, let's go to the reci reciprocating saw. One and a quarter inch stroke length, which is good. Uh, that's standard. 64% faster cutting, but 64% better cutting against what? I do not know. Uh, 380 cuts per charge. I'm assuming that's with a four and a half hour battery. 3,200 strokes per minute. That is actually 200 strokes per minute than uh, a lot of other recip powerful recip saws. I'm excited about this one. I, I, am, I'm, I want all these tools ASAP. Just so you guys know, I want to test these out. I am a huge Ryobi fan. I still love Ryobi tools, but I love all brands. All right, this is model number PBLRS01B. And that is an awesome looking recip saw. I like that. I really, really like that. I can't wait for that. It comes with a blade, I'm assuming. So yeah. Brussels motor. I really, really like that style. I like that is I like that design. That this one does beat their previous brushless model that they have. All 
right, let's go to the Ford mode impact, uh, half inch impact wrench. Now, like I said, I made a video of this already. Uh, four speed mode, 650 uh, foot pounds breakaway torque, 450 foot pounds of fastening torque, which that's fantastic. I want this tool. Why does this one come with a two amp hour battery? Beyond me, this should, this should come with a four amp hour battery. Three speeds and then an auto, which is good. So this model number P262, like I said in a previous video, thanks to that one YouTuber from a different country. And this thing does look like it's a bad man majama. Three speed, uh, three LEDs on the on the front, which thank God it's not on the base or underneath the housing for the anvil. Uh, diecast, uh, it's a diecast housing. Three, yep, brushless, 650 foot pounds of torque, amazing. Three speeds, auto. I like that design. I really, really like that design. They did really good. They did really good with that design. All right, so the SDS ha rotary hammer drill, which I'm extremely excited about this, up to 75% uh, impact energy against what? I do not know, probably their previous model, but this does look like it's a bad man pajama. This is model number P223, SDS, uh, SDS plus rotary hammer drill. So this is three modes, drilling, hammer, drilling, hammer drilling, and hammer to tackle a variety of applications. Aux uh, auxiliary handle, which that's good. I'm pretty sure that is all metal, besides the handle, besides the grip itself. <coughs> for get, uh, so auxiliary handle and depth guide for increased uh, accuracy and control. So that is good. That's what this is. It's a, so you could set this to whatever depth you want to drill into. Up to 47% less vibration. Comes with a four amp hour battery, I'm assuming. And so yeah, this thing is a, this this thing is a bad man pajama. I like this one very very much. Three modes, anti vibration. That's what it, that's what this is. So it, this could go up and down a little bit more without you feeling it. Uh, one inch SDS plus chuck. That is a one inch chuck, which is interesting. Brushless motor provides up to 75% more power with the 2.1 jowls and impact energy. That is awesome. This little tool is serious. This tool is not little. This tool is awesome. Like I said, I want to get all of these tools ASAP. ASAP. All right, let's go to the motor, the mower. Tw uh, two and one. The motor does look interesting. I wish you could get rid of the plus signs so we can see. Single point uh, height adjustment, just like the previous models. Easy lift bag removal. Uh, folding handles and compact vertical storage. 40 minutes runtime per charge. I'm wondering if that's on low or if that's on, uh, like if the motor bogs out from a high grass, I'm wondering if that also, oh, you can't take the motors out, uh, the plus signs out. Oh well. Doesn't, it doesn't let you. <coughs> it looks like it glitched out a little bit. All right, so, but this thing, this thing does look cool though. It does look cool. It looks like you're more traditional mower now. It does look like you're more traditional mower. And this is model number P1190. I want this, I want to do this against, uh, I want to do this next year against the previous models. 16 inch mower, that's actually disappointing. I will not be getting this because 16 inch mower is a downgrade from a 20 inch mower. So they might make a better model because this is, this is 18 volt, not 20, 40 volt. So right now I do not recommend you get this mower because it's an 18 volt mower and you can get a, a 40 volt mower and that'll do the job faster. All right, let's go over to the circular saw. This looks cool. I like this. Four and a half hour battery, brushless HP. This is nice. I like I like the style of this. This is model number PBLCS three zero zero B. It is an eighteen volt one plus HP brushless seven and a quarter inch circular saw, fifty six bevel capacity for cut versati versatility. Sorry, versatility. Adjustable depth for cutting up to two and seven sixteenths at zero degrees 
and one three quarter inch at 45 degrees. Die cast upper guard, increased vertibility. And so yeah, this thing does look awesome. 56 zero to 56 degree bevel, die cast, it's nice. This is a nice looking circular saw. How powerful is it? I do not know, but we will find out in the future. Seven and a quarter inch, I like that. How many teeth, 24 teeth? When it comes to circular saws, you need more than 24 teeth for a cleaner cut. 24 teeth just doesn't do the trick. 325 plus cuts per charge, which that's insane. Now I wonder if that's just with the two by four. You know, because if you do one long cut on a, like a plywood, you know, I wonder if that's considered a cut or many cuts. Up to 40% faster cut, I'm assuming that's against the previous brushless model. I do not know. That might be against the other ones, the older models. Hammer drill, we already did that. Do they make two versions of a hammer drill? Is, is there any difference between that one and this one? Let's see really quick. Nope, it's the same hammer drill. They just put it in twice. They put it in twice. All right, let's continue with the string trimmer. <coughs> 18 volt one plus HP, 18 volt one plus HP brushless string trimmer, P2, the model number, the model number is P20120. Variable speed trigger for more control, adjustable 13 to uh, 11 to 13 inch cutting width. Adjustable runtime with wider cutting, auto feed string up to zero, uh, 0 0.080 inches, twisting twine, twisting line, sorry. And so that is that. I wish you can get rid of these plus signs. That is what the motor looks like right there. Not bad, 40 power battery. It uh, does, does look, like, look like it has a dual trigger or each trigger uh, could activate it individually. And so that is the string trimmer. All right, we already did the, so there's two different types of, if, okay, this is the four mode impact driver. This is 200 and 2,200 inch pounds of torque, three speeds. Yeah, one is variable trigger. Is there a difference between the two? Nope, there is no difference between the two. There is just variable trigger. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the exact same specs, but you have a chance, uh, choice of variable trigger or one with speed mode. And so, yeah, since we already went through, it, since it's the exact same, let's uh, skip this because we already went through this in the combo kit with the drill. All right, the anal grinder, I'm excited about this one. I love that design. Does, is that a paddle? Is that a paddle right there? Let's see. Paddle switch. Yes, it does. It comes with a paddle switch. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so this is a, uh, uh, this is the 18 volt one plus brushless four and a, half, and a half inch angle grinder cutoff tool. Includes wheels and guards for grinding and cutting applications, tool free ex uh, accessory, wheel removal for quick and easy wheel changes. That's nice because with the previous model, you do need the tool. Large paddle, uh, large paddle switch, an easy operating and three position side handle for a user control, very, very, sorry, versatility. I want this one up to 30% faster cutting, up to 2,200 uh, cuts per charge. I'm assuming that's with a four amp hour battery. And so this is model number PBLAG01B. Tool free guard adjustment, uh, yada, yada, yada. Went through that already. Let's see if we can take this out. Nope, we gotta do that. I like that though, I like that. That's a nice design. That is a very nice design and I like that handle. I like that handle. And so yeah, that is the HP Brushless Grinder. I'm excited about that. Doesn't give any, yeah, there we go. Brushless motor provides up to 2,900 RPM. Sorry, 9,200 RPM. There you go. Uh, let's go to the blower. All right, so this is 
Uh, jet fan design to increase airflow, a variable trigger for more control, delivers 350 CFM, 110 mile per hour for clearing power. Now that is actually not nearly as powerful as the 40 volt, uh, the 40 volt uh, whisper that I got. This is 3,500 CFM, 75% more power. 40 power battery on there. Uh, how long, it does not say on how long this actually lasts to want a single charge. Jet fan design. And so yeah, that is the that is the new uh, leaf blower. I'll stick with when it comes to this, I'll stick with my 40 volt. My 40 I love my 40 I love my 40 volt whisperer. Jigsaw. Let's go to the jigsaw. This is a 18 volt one plus HP brushless jigsaw. Model number is PBL1S01B. Four orbital settings uh, for increased cutting versatility, which the which that's good. I love the design of this. The design looks really good. Two amp hour battery, easy, uh, tool free, a bevel adjustment. I like that. 36 percent faster cutting. Uh, variable trigger speed dial for ultimate cutting control ranging from 800 to 30, 3400 strokes per minute, 78 percent longer runtime. I like that. I do not know what they compared that to, but this does look like it is a nice tool. It does sort of have this. Uh, does look similar to the previous model, but it is HP. <coughs> That's a lock right there. Variable trigger, variable speed adjustment with a variable trigger. And so, yeah. So that does look like it's an awesome tool. Oh, the chainsaw. This is a push button oiler. No, that's not good. That is not good. This, if you have to, if the oiler is not automatic, you do not want this tool. It's a 10 inch chainsaw, it's a HP 85% faster cutting, 10 inch. Uh, but I'm letting you guys know, my, oh, this model number P2520. But if, if you have to push the button for to lubricate your chain, you do not want this. You do not want this. You want your oil feature to be automatic. Yeah, th this will not extend its life because you will once a, you won't push the uh, the oil when you really need to because during while you're cutting the tool while you're using the tool and that's when it need, you need the oil the most so I do not recommend you get this because of the push button oil feature right there that that's not good you, you want that automatic all right but this is the the tool yeah I'd go with a different company when it comes to the chainsaw Alrighty, we've already been through that. And then the last one that they've showed us so far is the 18 volt HP brushless 22 inch hedge trimmer. All right, this is model number P2680, anti-jam technology, uh, it, uh, hedges sweep, debris uh, remover to clear clippings while you trim, dual action blades, of course that's standard, I uh, know so like so usually one blade is sitting and then just one blade uh, moves but I guess this one both blades move which is good 3.5% more power sorry 3.5 times more power 22 inch blade with 3 quarter inch cutting capacity let's see what it says about strokes anti jamming 3 quarter inch agronomic handle I love Ryobi's handles, dual action. It does not say uh, speed wise, but that is the head trimmer, which lawn care, you know, it's winter time right now, and so lawn care really isn't needed. But that is good for next year. So I believe that is all the tools that they have showed us so far. And yeah, once they show us more, we will get back to this and see what else they actually have. So. If you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.